What's up guys, Shawhead again. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to approach every keyhole question. I also talked about the compare and eliminate technique, which if used correctly, can really increase your overall speed and performance on the keyhole section. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about relativity and how you can use it in certain scenarios to make the compare and eliminate technique even better. All right, let's get into it. So to put it simply guys, relativity is just using faces and edges that we're certain about to draw conclusions about faces or edges that we're uncertain about. Pretty much you're extrapolating what you're given to answer the question. So I have a keyhole figure and um, there's a few things happening here. You got two little extensions here with different heights, a slope face here with a square like extension over top of it, another slope face here with a notch and yeah, another sloped face here. So let's start. Let's first imagine what the top view of this figure would look like. So pause the video here, think about it for a sec, and you'll probably say that the top and bottom view will pretty much be an elongated rectangle with a small square added to the middle, like so. Now this one here, is the actual top view. That's why you can see uh, the two extensions here. This is the sloped face and this is the square like extension right here. The one to the right is the corresponding keyhole and all I did was remove the internal lines. So that one was easy. No need to really use relativity here. But what about the front view? What will that look like? Well, if we look at the figure head on, I mean, the left side is pretty clear. We can see exactly what's happening and honestly so is the right side but what about this space right here what's the relationship between this right edge of this tall column and the left edge of this little rectangle here is there a space between the two when we look at it from the front like this or are those two edges on the same plane like this so which one of these is right so this is a scenario where it looks like it can honestly go either way. It's tough to say. And this is where we can bring relativity into it to make things more clear. All right, so to figure this out, we have to use a line on the figure that runs front to back, such as this one right here, or even this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. These lines tell us about how the object has been rotated to give us the present view. So we can use it to extrapolate some information. I'm going to be using this end line because not only does it run the span of the entire figure, but it's actually pretty close to the area we're trying to relate it to. So at this point, we're going to want to imagine the same line placed at either this right edge here or this left edge right here. For now, let's just pick the left edge of the extension um, right here, and I placed it here. So already we can see that the line makes contact not with the right edge, but it actually makes contact with the base of the figure itself right here. And when we put the same line on this right edge, we can see that there is definitely a space between the two lines, as is reflected in this view right there. So this is the correct front view. Another way to think about it is that if we try to connect these two edges, the resulting line won't be parallel with any of the lines that run front to back, like this one, this one, this one, or this one. And these are the lines we know are true, so we have to trust them. So ultimately, this view is incorrect. That's relativity in a nutshell. There's nothing really to it, and chances are some of you guys were already doing this intuitively. But let's look at an example that's a little bit more complex. So here's another figure. And remember, step number one is to always comprehend the object in a matter of seconds. Now for this, we're going to be focusing on the side view. So pause the video here, think about what the side view would look like, and play it back when you have a rough idea in your mind. Hopefully, you were able to come up with something that looks like the two views here. Now, what sets these two apart is the length of the slanted edges right here and right here. So I've highlighted the edge in question here and I'm going to extend it to the point that it reaches the slanted edge. Now, from here, we can just visualize how long the slanted edge would look 
if we looked at it from the side profile. So guys, I know this isn't a perfect example because this imaginary red line won't ever actually touch the slanted edge because it needs to go in a little bit first. Uh, but bear with me guys, all I'm trying to do is show you guys relativity in a different way. So if we mentally compare the relative length of the slanted edge with the two option choices, we can see that it more so matches this left view right here. Now, a much easier way to do this would have been to simply compare this side edge, the length of these side edges, with this edge right here, and take relativity completely out of it. But you won't always have that luxury. The point of this video is to just give you guys yet another skill that you can use when things get difficult. Alright guys, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Join me in the next video and we'll actually use the approach I taught you guys earlier and we'll work through questions together. Till then, take care.